Hi everyone, I'm Hans and I've been in the software engineering field for more than four years now. I am currently working with Accenture as a senior developer, mainly handling integrations, reports, and some AWS services. I graduated as an ECE graduate from the University of the East Manila last 2018 and directly went to SWIT after that. Ginawa ko at that time, naghanap ako ng mga coding bootcamps. So, wala kasi ako makahanap na parang security coding bootcamps. Hindi siya parang in at that time. So, nakita kong way is web development. And then, at that time, parang three or four bootcamps lang yung meron sa Philippines. So, parang nag in ako dun sa mga companies na yun. And then, looking at Zwit, even though parang nine batches from me pa lang yung nagsistart nun, madami na siyang reviews na maganda. And then, pati yung advertisements nila, parang ano na talaga siya. Well thought out na yung advertisements. So, yeah, I took the leap to Zwit. Ang mindset ko at that time would be like absorbing all the knowledge that I could grab on dun sa developers within my team. So even though um small team lang kami, a team of three developers lang, I needed to grab something from them kasi fresh graduate pa lang ako ng bootcamp. So the more the knowledge that I have, the better. But I didn't know that opposite from our office is our ops team. So they were working with the open source cloud platform for distributing virtual machines across universities. So from that, um, natuto din ako sa kanila. Eh. So then, dun ko nakita yung parang bagong goal ko. Hindi lang pala web development ang meron. Meron din cloud, cloud platforms. So, parang nabuksan yung mata ko into DevOps. First project ko, which is mainly AWS stuff. So, back-end AWS stuff. And then, then um, napunta din ako sa next project ko, which is um, React developer siya. But, for integrations na. So, I need to integrate the back end from the front end. Uh, that was the ongoing trend from that time. So, nagiging, web, um, nagiging mainly web development ulit ako. And then, comes the time na kailangan namin i-push lahat ng back end codes to the Lambda. And then, meron pa kami mga database na nakalagay din sa AWS services. So, with that thing going, parang naisip ko na na certification in mind. So, I was handling more AWS then, so I needed to, I was thinking that I needed to get certifications for that na. So, I could give myself like qualifications for the next project or next company in that case if I was to go to the next company nga. Para meron na akong ano sa kanila, parang mapakita na proof na ano ko, parang AWS meron na ka alam sa AWS, right? So, um, yung team ko, team lead ko, and then Yung dalawang team lead ko doon was very supportive of my role and then were giving me like um, extra job. Hindi siya extra job in a case na parang kailangan ko mag-OT doon. Ah. Para siya extra job lang um, to fulfill yung mga gusto kong mangyari. So habang nangyayari yun, they also gave me a like a newbie sa team namin, associate developer siya to teach. So they were looking into my leadership skills. Na. Eh, yung leadership skills ko came from them also. I look high up to them. Kumbaga, talagang ano sila. Parang for me, they are the role models of my job. So yeah, mentoring that one developer with mentoring them, parang there was an unexpected happening na nangyari dun sa project na yun. And then I moved on to the next project. Dun sa next project naman, wala kaming team lead na nandun. So our delivery lead made it so that parang ako yung maging team lead na yun dun sa team na yun. So they gave me two more developers for that project. And then what I learned from my past project, I also embedded dun sa new project ko. So I gave them knowledge um, on what I did and then AWS platforms and then at this time medyo nag-admin tasks na din ako and then hindi ko pala alam na at that time din na nalipat ako sa bagong project is ano na siya para promotion period na for Accenture. So yung delivery lead ko was asking my team lead if um, okay ba ako as a 
promote to senior developer at that time. And then, thankfully, maganda yung naging ano ko sa kanila, feedback ko from them. And then, yung meron kami yung platform sa Accenture where you put all the feedbacks there. And then, looking at it is basically a long list of managers and TL nga na nagbabak dun sa, sa job ko. So, yun, parang nakita, oh, oh, okay siya maging senior developer, event team lead nga, yeah, pwede pa. So, I got that role after they're moving one month from the new project. So, yeah, very thankful ako dun sa team lead dun for giving me opportunity at saka for the learning how to be a leader to a team. improve your soft skills your promotions it's not about being good talaga with coding it's about being part of the team hindi ibig sabihin na sobrang galing mo doon sa job na ginagawa mo and tales na nakikita ng mga tao within your group na magaling ka talaga kailangan mo din mag- makisama sa ibang tao for them to realize that you are part of their team. This is a reality with um, companies. Eh. Better take that in mind that um, soft skills is as important as your knowledge um, in coding. So, yeah, just be kind to everyone and then just absorb every knowledge that you are getting from your higher-ups and that will help you and that will get you in a long way in the future. So for the current and future bootcampers, there are three things that I want to pass on to you. First is be like a sponge. So everything you learn from here now is the industry standout standards out there. So currently, I believe um, Merch Stack yung tiniteach ni Zwit. So, sobrang daming jobs out there that is using React. So, don't be scared. Of just be a sponge. Absorb everything. Not just the coding part but also yung learning habits and your communication within the team that you're in. Um, second would be, don't sell yourself short. And kasi, um, remember that what you learn here is just laying the groundwork for you to put your foot on the door of the company so don't just tell the interviewer what you learned here tell them also how were you able to learn something in just a short span of time you may be doing a set of different languages in that company but your learning habits will not fail you and believe me so show them that um, you are easily teachable and very accommodating sa peers so not only coding stuff yan but like yung soft skills mo din I believe Zuit also teaches that so um, your attitude is more important than the skill you have um, when starting for this skill and third always be confident you finished this bootcamp so you are probably way ahead from those who even graduated IT fields. This bootcamp is teaching you the industry standards na. It's not like teaching you theories. So be confident in what you have. Imposter syndrome is unavoidable. But believe me, what you learn from here will take you to another level. That's it. Well, Zuit isn't just about learning how to code. It teaches you that software engineering is a collaboration. It isn't a one-man job. So your idea might be great, but it can be elevated by others. So the instructors here aren't just instructors. They can be your friend or even be your brothers. And they will help you any way that they can. Even after being a boot camper, even four years, five years after the boot camp, um, they're still there to guide you uh, along the way if needed be so so it for me is the best thing that happened after my graduation in university of the east so yes that's it <laughs>